Hey, good morning, my students from Saragossa National High School, Grade 7. So, I will be reading I Am a Filipino by Carlos P. Romulo. So, after I read this selection, you will be asked to do some activities that I will um, post on our group chat. So, please listen very carefully. After I read this, you will answer several questions. Okay, so just listen. I am a Filipino, inheritor of a glorious past, hostage to the uncertain future. As such, I must prove equal to a twofold task the task of meeting my responsibility to the past and the task of performing my obligation to the future. Sprung from a hardly race, child of many generations, removed of ancient Malayan pioneers. Across the centuries, the memory comes rushing back to me of brown skinned men putting out to sea in ships that were as frail as their hearts were stout. Over the sea, I see them come. Born upon the billowing wave and the whistling wind, carried upon the mighty swell of hope, hope in the pre-abundance of new land that was to be their home and their children's forever. This is the land they sought and found, every inch of shore that their eyes first set upon, every hill and mountain that beckoned to them, with a green and purple invitation. Every mile of rolling plain that their view encompassed. Every river and lake that promised a plentiful living and the fruitfulness of comments. This hallowed a spot to me. By the strength of their hearts and hands, by every right of law, human and divine, this land and all the appurtenances thereof, the black and fertile soil, the seas and lakes and rivers teeming with fish, the forests with their inexhaustible wealth in wildlife and timber, the mountains with their bowels swollen with minerals, the whole of this rich and happy land has been for centuries without number, the land of my fathers. This land I receive in trust from them, and in trust will I pass it to my children, and so on until the world no more. I am a Filipino. In my blood runs the immortal seeds of heroes. Seed that flowered down the centuries in deeds of courage and defiance. In my veins yet pulses the same hot blood that sent Lapu-Lapu to battle against the alien foe that drove Jagosilang and Dagohoy into rebellion against the foreign oppressor. That seed is immortal. It is the self-same seed that flowered in the heart of Zerizal that morning in Bagumbayan, where a volley of shots put an end to all that was mortal of him and made his spirit deathless The same that flowered in the hearts of Bonifacio in Balintawak, of Gregorio del Pilar at Tired Pass, of Antonio Luna at Calumpit, that bloomed in flowers of frustration in the sad heart of Emilio Aguinaldo at Palanan, and yet burst forth royalty against the proud heart of Manuel L. Quezon when he stood at last on the threshold of ancient Malacanang Palace in the symbolic act of possession and racial vindication. The seed I bear with me as an immortal seed. It is the mark of my manhood, the symbol of dignity as a human being. 
Like the seeds that were once buried in the tomb of Tutankhamen many thousands years ago, it shall grow and flower and bear fruit again. It is the ensign of me, of my race, and my generation is but a stage in the unending search of my people for freedom and happiness. So this is I Am a Filipino by Carlos P. Romulo. So please wait for my instructions on the questions that you will be answering based on this essay that I have read. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe and God bless.